Hey, we're Black Gold. We're hanging out here with Santa Claus himself, wishing you a happy holidays. I'm Ton. I play the drums. Rock and roll. I'm Eric. I sing, play the piano. I'm Kerry. I play bass. My name's Al, and I play guitar. So uh, we just put out our debut album, Rush, in February of 2009. That's right. That's yep. Right. And uh, we're real proud of it, and we're really excited about it. We got a couple of videos for it out now. Uh, we got one for Detroit um, and uh, one for Plans and Reveries, and we're on the way to make you some more videos now, actually. The process between making the record and, and doing the videos was pretty pretty smooth for us. I mean, we, we were really excited about the album, so we really wanted to just start making videos right away. And our um, initial concept for the album and the videos with respect to that sort of tying together the visuals with the sound is, uh, you know, we're in the process of making a video for each one of the songs on the album. You know, um, so it'll, you'll have the album sort of on the audio level and then you'll have the album as a sort of visual statement as well. So um, it wasn't like a, you know, painful process for us. You know, we, we're actually excited about the visuals. And um, I think the songs themselves, we you know we envision certain things with them in our heads, and we want to make those come 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 to fruition, you know, um, in in video form. Yeah, you know, all all the videos, all the songs, you know, have real stories that are attached to them. You know, when we write a song, we're not just sort of making up making up the story as we go here. We're we're writing about things that that go on in our lives and in the lives of our friends. Yeah, you know, um, I think that for us, you're right. We have we have a whole lot of influences coming into it. You know, we we all come from from different places individually, um, and uh, and but but I think that what we all share as a band is um, is a uh, just a love for music in general and a love for good music. Nobody nobody here is is about to judge any music if it's because it's uh, you know not in the right style or 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 not recent or, or something like that we li we like music of all different kinds and you know i uh i'm sort of the of the band i'm the, the biggest gear slut um admittedly and um um i have a big collection i have an embarrassingly big big collection of uh, vintage guitars and vintage drums since i play both um actually you know uh, you know we all appreciate um you know old instruments and we recorded the album using pretty much all vintage instruments. And the thing about them is, you know, they just, they're, they're better made. They have ghosts and stories behind them, you know, and you can feel them. You can feel them when you touch them. You know, when you, when you, when you touch a, the neck of a, an old guitar, it feels like so many hands have touched it. And the grease and the funk and the spirit of that, you know, of that ghost or the ghosts that, that live in that neck you know, just go right up my spine, man. It's real. I feel it, you know. When are you, you talking influences, Gary? Yeah, my influences are pretty broad, from Marvin Gaye to Sonic Youth. Um, I would say Michael Jackson. Yes. Sonic Michael Gaye. Jackson's one for all of us, that's for sure. Yeah, some Sonic Youth, you know, Beatles. I started playing when I was a kid. I was like 18. But I felt like I was playing before that because I was in so much into music and listening to radio every day and every night. I'll sleep with the radio and wake up with the radio on. So I always felt I had it in me. But I didn't pick up my I didn't pick up bass until I was eighteen. What about you, Al? When did you get started <laughs> playing music? <laughs> uh probably when I was about twelve, ten or twelve. I grew up uh, in Glasgow, Scotland. Only recently moved to the States, so when I was a teenager I I listened to a lot of like American college rock and you know punk and hardcore and things like that and i think like the uh, any good song that you write the bulk of that song kind of gets written in an instant it's yeah. almost written before it's written as you're working it out you you already you already kind of know what it is before before you can get the idea out you know um but then you know but you know it takes time we're, we're all real perfectionists about it it sort of takes time after you get that initial inspiration out and 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 you kind of you know get it down on tape then it's then it's about fine tuning it and that that part of the process can can take a long time i th i mean the 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 fans definitely seem to call out the come down i definitely hear that a lot yeah. um um 
but I don't know. You know, it, it's a different. It's a, it's a hard thing to say because I I find like you, you know, uh, it, it's always the one that we don't play that night that somebody comes up to me and 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 tells me that they were really disappointed that we didn't <laughs> play that one. No, it's just cool to see people like come out and uh, the 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 um the fun thing is. It's amazing how broad uh, the appeal has been because we get everything from like grandmothers to like you know thirteen year old girls you know both screaming their 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 butts off and and that's that makes me the happiest. Um.